At first, it looks like a mistake, a smear of gray, a blur of rain, a horizon that doesn't make sense. But then you realize this photograph was taken from inside a tornado, not beside it, not miles away. Inside. The 1990s were a wild frontier for storm chasing in the United States. Radar was crude, communication unreliable, and safety rules were more instinct than science. For a small group of chasers, the goal wasn't just survival, it was understanding, to get closer than anyone ever should. On one spring afternoon, as the sky turned the sickly green that locals know means trouble, a lone storm chaser drove straight toward a rotating wall of cloud. The wind screamed like freight trains colliding. Hail, hail hammered the vehicle. Rain moved sideways. Every instinct said turn back. He didn't. As the tornado swallowed the road, the world collapsed into chaos, until suddenly, impossibly, it didn't. The roar softened. The pressure dropped. The rain thinned. And for a brief, fragile moment, the chaser found himself in an eerie pocket of calm. The eye. He stepped out just enough to raise his camera. What the photograph captured was not destruction, but its hollow center. A ghostly dome of clouds circling overhead, curtains of debris spinning like distant galaxies. Light filtering through a broken sky. The ground intact, almost peaceful, while violence screamed all around the edges. It was beautiful and terrifying, because the calm was a lie. Seconds later, the wind returned with a vengeance. The tornado shifted, the eye collapsed. The chaser dove back into his vehicle as debris slammed into metal and glass. Trees snapped, power lines vanished. The world roared again. He survived. The photograph did too. When it surfaced, meteorologists stared at it in disbelief. This wasn't supposed to be possible. The image offered rare insight into tornado structure, evidence that the heart of nature's most violent storms could be strangely, hauntingly still. It helped researchers refine models, improve warnings, and understand what had once been pure mystery. But beyond science, the photo carried a deeper weight. It showed us something uncomfortable about ourselves, that even in the face of overwhelming danger, humans are drawn forward, that curiosity can overpower fear, that sometimes to understand the storm, someone has to stand inside it. And maybe that's why the image still unsettles us, because it asks a quiet question. If you were standing at the edge of destruction, would you run away or would you raise the camera and step in? If this story gripped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and leave a comment below. Your support helps the channel grow and brings more incredible stories like this to life.